Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Grief Warfare. So, a few years ago, back on my old server, I actually created a similar mini game where you had lots of TNT and you had to kill your opponents and blow up the arena. This is pretty similar, where your goal is to blow up as many blocks as you can before the time runs out. So, it's a lot of fun. Everyone loves to blow things up. And the best part is, it's free to download. So first of all, uh, you're going to want to either make a map or download one from the internet. I'll leave a link to the one I will use and pop it into your server folder. Then join the game and do forward slash game and then game setup. This will tell us how to set up the arena and maps. So obviously you need two worlds. You need your lobby world. So this is just a randomly generated world, which is going to be our lobby. So do game set lobby. And once you've done that, we can create uh, the map. So it's called Town, well I just named it Town because that's short and sweet, and we will be teleported there. So um, once you're here I'm going to let it load a bit and find it, it is, where is it, what direction is it, I think it's over here, yes it is. So uh, this is a cool medieval town made by Joe Brixey I think, I'll leave a link to his video on Planet Minecraft uh, in the description, but it should be just here, there it is, looks very very nice. Um, very nice buildings and a nice little town that we're going to blow to pieces. So once you are here, let's go through the gate, that is the best place to go through. Go into the middle of the town and what we need to do, we need to uh, set the game world and we need to set the map name. So let's do that now. Game, set game for the map town and then we need to also set the map name and then save it of course. You can edit it if you want but uh, obviously we've already built it, well Joe's already built it so we don't need to edit it at all. So set map name and the name is going to be Cool Town, that's just nothing. And um, we are going to save it, so game, save world and the map name obviously town. So there we go, that is how you save it then we can actually disconnect and rejoin. We will uh, be teleported to the lobby with a cool um, message. And obviously we are waiting for two people to join. So um, we are going to restart the server. Don't reload it. I've heard there are issues if you reload it. So uh, we'll be back when I have both my players on and it's restarted. So we have both joined the game and as you can see, the game will begin in a few seconds and we will be teleported to the map world. So once we are here, we get TNT and we can place it wherever we want and it will just blow up the world. So um, you can set lots of different things in the config file, which is really cool. It shows you how many blocks you have actually destroyed. Uh, so we have destroyed 1,281 and we can just go around throwing TNT all over the place and uh, it will just keep going up and up. Obviously we're winning. You can uh, edit various things in the config file, which I'm going to show you, including the uh, min and max players, the time, etc. So, um, yeah, that is how you set it up in game. It's pretty easy. And thanks to Joe for uh, building this awesome map that I'm blowing to pieces. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the config file now. Looks really cool at night time, actually. Well, it did before it had some holes made into it. So, here we are in my server folder, which is called One in the Battle for some weird reason. Um, but we have the world we were using, our lobby world, and the Grief Warfare maps which store the data so it can get reset afterwards, which is a great feature. If we go into plugins, Grief Warfare, and the only config file in there, we can have a look at what we can edit. So, at the top there is some quite useful things. There is various times, so 800 seconds is pretty much a very, very long time for a game, so I'd set that to one or two minutes. We have Minimax players, we have the map name, and whether to kick if full, and if you get uh, coins for winning, which is pretty cool. You can also set up a uh, shop system, so obviously set that to true, and um, how much, how many points you need to unlock, and the explosion radius or power. So this is pretty cool. Down here we have the default kit that we'll be using. And obviously when you place it down it has a power of 5, this has a power of 7, so this would destroy more blocks in a shorter amount of time and would allow you to win more, which is really cool that um, you could unlock this. And then if you get tier 3, you would have a power of 15, so you would be 
three times more points than uh, the default kit. So that's pretty cool. We have the messages, the messages of the, the day, all that good stuff. And we have uh, the shop name and the law. Down here we have more messages um, which appear in chat. So um, it's pretty straightforward. We also have the scoreboards. They're very nice. You can put your server IP there and change various things about it. But overall, it's a really cool plugin. Easy to set up and just a blast to play. Haha, <laughs> that was a good pun. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.